Hi, in this video we're going to be talking about the free Libre hardware monitor app that you could use to monitor your computer's hardware resources in real time. All right, so all you need to do is go to the GitHub website here, and I'll put a link in the description for it. Uh, then you'll go to the Assets section here. There will be different versions as it's updated, so we'll find the latest one here. And then you just download the zip file, then extract it, and all you need to do is run the executable here, like so. So you'll need to be an administrator on the computer or at least have some administrator credentials you could use to run it. All right, and then once it's running, it'll be down here in the system tray, so you could open it up from here. All right, so you'll have a bunch of information here. So I'm running this on a virtual machine, so it's not going to show as much as if you were running it on an actual physical computer. All right, so we got the computer name here, motherboard information, processor information, so we have an i9. So we have the cores here. So this is only set up for uh, two cores and two processors, virtual processors, that is. So you have your clock speed, your load. Just kind of minimize this as we go along here. Then you have memory information here, memory and virtual memory. Uh, memory used and available. Uh, disk information here. So it's not going to read the temperature since it's a virtual disk. Uh, read and write activity. Information for levels, for data, throughput information, for speed. Then we have another virtual disk here, similar information. Then Bluetooth information, so there's nothing connected via Bluetooth on this computer. Then we have our Ethernet information, so the load, upload, download, speed, and so on. All right, so you'll also get information on your video card, too. This is just not showing it because it's a virtual machine, so it's not going to have everything. So like I said, if you run this on your real physical computer, you'll get a lot more information. Then at the top here, we have some options here if you want to reset the minimum and max settings. Uh, reset the plot. Show hidden sensors, which will give you some additional information. Uh, show the plot. Show the gadgets. Show your columns if you want to have uh, minimum besides just maximum and the value here. Then we have a few options here. Have it start minimize. Minimize the tray, which it did when I ran it. Minimize on close instead of closing it. Run on Windows. You could change the uh, temperature unit, plot location, and some other options here. So you can see it's a pretty basic app. But since you don't have to install anything and it's pretty lightweight, you can just have it running down there in the system tray and just kind of open it whenever you need to check something out. All right, so once again, I'll put a link in the description for Libre Hardware Monitor, and you can try it out on your computer. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe.